Hi, and welcome to Zabbix Tutorial, the video series focusing on Zabbix, the enterprise class monitoring solution for everyone. I am Rosario Antoci, uh, I am a Zabbix certified specialist and professional, and uh, in this video I will show you how to deploy uh, the Zabbix server instance, um, setting up the database and install the web frontend. I will install uh, Zabbix on a virtual appliance, uh, CentOS 7 based, with MariaDB uh, as the database engine. Uh, of course you can use a uh, different uh, um, hardware configuration and a uh, different uh, um, database engine such as uh, uh, PostgreSQL uh, or Oracle Database uh, and uh, even uh, IBM uh, DB2 and uh, SQLite. Uh, depending uh, of uh, the number of, of hosts uh, um, you wish to monitor, um, Zabbix uh, um, offers a um, only one solution, um, impressive for uh, its uh, power and uh, scalability. So let's start uh, to do it. And, uh, um, we could start uh, adding uh, the official uh, Zabbix uh, repository for 3.2 um, release. Okay. And then uh, um, let's install uh, the Zabbix components from packages. For this installation I will choose uh, MariaDB server, um, MySQL-like uh, uh, database. Okay, the Zabbix uh, uh, packages installation is completed and also the dependencies. Uh, now we can go to um, set up uh, the Zabbix server um, and uh, before that the uh, database. Mm, we need to modify the default profile uh, of Zabbix uh, uh, HTTPD, uh, the Apache web server, uh, to set uh, the um, right uh, uh, time zone. Okay, for me uh, we can uh, uncomment uh, uh, this line and add uh, a substitute uh, Riga with uh, ROM and let's save it. Okay. Um, we can go uh, to um, create uh, the Zabbix database. First of all, uh, we need to start uh, um, the MariaDB server. We can go inside uh, uh, the MySQL console. and uh, create the database 
the DB name uh, is uh, Zabbix and um, we will use uh, the UTF-8 uh, as a character set we can also create uh, the Zabbix user um, for the database uh, identified by um, a simple password because uh, this is a tutorial but uh, I will suggest you to use, it, uh, use a better password now we can quit the MariaDB console and uh, modify um, the Zabbix server configuration because we need to add uh, um, the DB password Let's set uh, this change and quit. We need to populate the database, and uh, for this, uh, uh, there is a um, file provided by the Zabbix package. Uh, we need to go uh, to the user shell uh, doc uh, Zabbix server MySQL and uh, use the Z, uh, zcat command and pipe the, the file uh, on uh, our um, MariaDB instance with uh, the user Zabbix we need to enter the password uh, we chose before Now we can uh, uh, restart uh, the Apache web server and um, start the um, Zabbix server. Okay, um, to, to check if uh, the service uh, is running, you can simply uh, digit uh, system control uh, status Zabbix server. And after we can go to uh, set up the web front end. Ok, the Zabbix server uh, is started and now we can go uh, to look at the front end um, We need to uh, open uh, the browser and uh, um, run uh, the localhost Zabbix. Okay, Zabbix 3.2, next step. And 
the prerequisites of uh, PHP uh, is uh, all okay. Even the date time zone we changed here before. Next step. We need to provide the, the password of X tutorial. Next step. And uh, on this field name, um, we could provide uh, uh, um, different name of the Zabbix server, uh, more speci specific, uh, because uh, if we have a uh, different uh, Zabbix uh, instance, um, it's uh, pretty nice to have it uh, to have uh, the name uh, in the dif uh, different name in uh, different tabs of uh, our browser. I will choose uh, ZBX uh, Server One. Next step. And now we finish uh, the installation of Zabbix server. We can go to login uh, to the Zabbix frontend. The username, uh, the default username is admin. And password is uh, Zabbix. And now we uh, entered the Zabbix PHP frontend. Um, we are in the dashboard. Uh, the Zabbix server is running. This uh, value is uh, really important. Um, we have uh, done. Thank you for listening and uh, see you on the next video. Bye.